Three and zero Louisville. They're ranked fifteenth in the country at three and one Notre Dame today. Notre Dame is ranked just one slot behind them. This is a big game. A lot riding on the line today uh, for the Irish, and not to mention the Irish looking for a little revenge uh, for what happened last year down in Louisville. For Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com, I'm Phil Hauk, and these are my Notre Dame Federal Credit Union last thoughts before kickoff. Thought number one, let's talk about home field advantage. Now, specifically crowd noise, I was down at Louisville in 2019. I was there last year. Their crowd is intimidating in Louisville. They're loud. They don't stop. They keep going. They are an advantage for their team. Notre Dame's at home today. That should give them the advantage, right? Well, I've been going to Notre Dame football games for a long, long time, and I know our crowd is not all that intimidating, frankly. Well, listen, if you're hearing this video and you're going to the game, make some noise today. Notre Dame needs all they can get out of that crowd today. So let's let's get a little bit of that because this really is a big game. Louisville's really good. Jeff Brown prepares his team really, really well. Veteran coach, uh, Western Kentucky, Purdue, and now in his second year in Louisville. Uh, and they have a seventh-year quarterback who's really the kind of quarterback Jeff Brown likes. Tyler Shuck, Tyler uh, started his career at Air Oregon, uh, Texas Tech, and now uh, in his seventh year at uh, Louisville. Eight TDs this year. He's thrown eight TDs passes, just one interception. By the way, Tyler Shuck celebrating his 25th birthday today in Notre Dame Stadium. Hopefully Notre Dame doesn't give him any gifts. Uh, let's talk about their defense, uh, Louisville's defense, Ashton Gelati. Defensive end, game wrecker. This guy's really good. Notre Dame's going to have to count for him every play. Last year in Louisville, Ashton Gelati uh, really harassed Sam Hartman into three interceptions and two fumble appear. Notre Dame, five really bad plays, turned it over five times last year. Uh, Ashton Gelati, he's got to get blocked today. Uh, Indy. You know, and Indy's hope, The re another reason this is a big day is because Indy's hope to salvage, and it still could potentially salvage, a great season. You know, you win out, you go to the playoffs, all right? But they got to win out, and this is the, arguably the toughest test they will have the rest of the way if that dream does happen. Uh, so, you know, if they lose today, win after this game, the season's going to take a, a big uh, – it's at a fork in the road. You know, it's either going to be lost or – you know, they're on their way to, to doing that, making that happen. The other thing is in Marcus Freeman's third year, if he, this is, I think, the biggest game of his career. If, if Notre Dame loses this, he's going to lose a segment of that fan base that I think, I'm afraid, will never come back. So, big game for the Irish. The weather today, you know, we got some hurricane effect around here, but I don't think we're going to have rain. There's about a 15, 20% chance that it's increasing a little bit as the day wears on, maybe late in the game. Uh, but it's 71 degrees at kickoff today, overcast, really a good day to play football. So the weather is good. I don't think it's going to impact the game at all. Thought, thought number four, you're on the video. <laughs> thought number four, Notre Dame is a seven-point favorite today. Now that number is meant to make money for Vegas, okay? Seven points, kind of throw that out if you're trying to figure out who's going to win this game today. This game, I'm telling you, it's a toss-up. It, it really is a close one. Uh, and here's my prediction. Look for the Irish to be able to put a little bit of a lid on the Louisville passing game uh, and to maybe pick off a pass or two uh, today. Benjamin Morrison, he may be that guy that does that. Uh, and if that happens, and if Art Riley Leonard can figure out some way to get that ball down the field, and we saw progress last week. He started doing that in the second half in the, uh, in the last eight minutes of the first half last week. Get the ball down the field. That will open those running lanes up. Notre Dame's got a superior running attack. But they can't let Louisville just stack the box and stop the run. Uh, in any event, I think if those things happen, Notre Dame's going to be able to score enough points today. I'm going to say the Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com pick, ND24, Louisville 20. Check us out. We are all, Fighting Irish Preview is all over social media. Like and subscribe. It's all free, but it ain't free to bring it to you. Uh, and I need your support to keep it free. So. For Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com, I'm Phil Houck, and these have been 
by Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Last thoughts before kickoff. Remember, where you bank does matter, and I'll talk to you after the game. Go Irish!